The Canadian Taxpayers Federation is calling on the United Firefighters of Winnipeg to pay back the city for money it receives to cover part of its president's six-figure salary. CBC News has learned the city has been paying about $70,000 a year for Alex Forrest's salary and benefits, even though he's on leave from his job as a fire captain to work for the union full-time. CBC's Caroline Bargut joins us now live to explain. Well, Janet, the city is paying part of Alex, salary, Alex Forrest's salary because of the deal it made in January 2014. The deal was between Forrest and the city's former administration. Now, in it, the city agreed to pay 60% of the union president's salary, even though, as you said, he is on leave from his job as a firefighter. It also allowed Forrest to be promoted to captain, despite the fact he hadn't fought a fire in years. A city spokesperson says the people who made that deal are no longer working for the government, so officials can't explain the rationale for the one-of-a-kind contract. The spokesperson also said the deal was an improvement because prior to 2014, the city had been paying 100% of Forrest's pay. Other unions representing city employees have to reimburse taxpayers for the full amount of their president's salaries. The United Firefighters of Winnipeg only has to pay 40 percent. Now, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation says the city should end that agreement immediately, and even if it doesn't, the union should do the right thing and stop billing taxpayers for their president's pay. What does our current mayor have to say about this? Janet, Brian Bowman wasn't available for an interview today, but in a statement to CBC, a spokesperson for the mayor said, while Mayor Bowman recognizes the 2014 agreement represents a better deal for taxpayers and feels the agreement should be honored as agreed to in good faith, he will be recommending that this issue be considered in an open and transparent way in the next round of collective bargaining. So it doesn't appear that the mayor will seek to end the deal with Forrest when the United Firefighters of Winnipeg collective agreement expires on December 31st, 2020, but he will ask for greater transparency transparency in future negotiations. And what about the union president at the center of all of this, Alex Forrest? What's he saying? Well, Jana, Alex Forrest declined our requests for an interview, but a labor lawyer whose client list includes the United Firefighters of Winnipeg says there's nothing wrong with this arrangement. Garth Smoring didn't have anything to do with the deal, but says he knows of three companies in Winnipeg that pay 100% of their union leader's salary. He says it comes down to whether or not the two parties see value in this kind of deal. Um, first question is really easy. Can I get you to say and spell your first and last name? Sure. Garth Smorang, S-M-O-R-A-N. Okay, well, that is not Can the clip that we meant to show Smorang. you, but uh, Smorang did okay. say that um, it really we, does come down to that. I'm a union Clearly side. in this case, both parties saw value in it. We should tell you that Alex Forrest in 2016 made almost $117,000, in which the city played close to $70,000 of.